trap yourselves in. I'm gonna make a jump to light speed. <laughs> Good evening, hyperdrivers, and what was that noise? I feel like I'm hearing an R2 unit now. Seth, do you have your your, your no? <laughs> okay, I, I'm hearing I'm hearing uh, an echo again. <laughs> no, I don't hear anything. I'm good, man. All right, all right, man. Uh, let's go. Good evening, hyperdrivers, and welcome to yeah, a, another. Hey, I'm hearing an echo. Yeah, I'm hearing an echo. <laughs> It ain't coming through me. <laughs> Welcome to another new ch- MCE production. New, new channel, same story. Same story. <laughs> Does anybody have any YouTube windows open at all? Somebody's got YouTube open. Mm. It's one of you two. So good look, if you nope. got YouTube open, close it, please. On the phone, anything? Nope. <laughs> All right. I don't hear anything now. It's because we're not talking as much. I still hear it. Nope. Not me. <laughs> I'm hearing it. Um, all right. One second while we try to figure this out. Yeah, I, I don't have anything open, guys. <laughs> you, you, none of you have uh, have YouTube launched on, on any of these no. devices. No, I got one window open. I have okay. so do I. Streamyard. It's Streamyard. All right. I don't know why I'm hearing something. No. Crazy. <laughs> yeah, I'm still hearing it. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna try to power through it. I don't care. Um. Good evening, hyperdrivers. Welcome to. Another episode of the Hyperdrive. We today tonight is May the fourth, the end of May the fourth, and we're going to be going into Revenge of the Fifth tomorrow. But tonight, as the last uh, few hours of May the fourth close down, we're going to be unboxing a bunch of May the fourth pickings. I guess is what we're going to call it, or our haul, right? We all got a bunch of stuff here to take a look at. I got this Emperor. Frankie's got a really cool Boba Fett there, and oh, Seth. Oh yeah, he's got a whole bunch of figures. Oh. Uh. Yeah, big D here is the the echo too. It it is really it's getting driving me nuts. Yeah, I don't hear. I, I mean, I hear it, but it again, every all my stuff is is plugged in. All right, I'm can gonna we, back uh, out and yeah, then try to get back in. Yeah, back out. Yeah, yeah. Is there an echo now? No, it's one of them. <laughs> all right. All right. I don't hear Let's anything. See. You hear anything? No, I don't hear anything either. It I think was it was Frankie. Frankie. You son of a bitch. I, I know. It was, it, it, somebody had something open. Listen, we're professionals. Frankie's still new to this. I know. It's okay. So, you know. <laughs> but no, but your first ex- accusation is like, Seth. <laughs> well, no. I'm just saying, it, you know, I know it wasn't me because I've closed everything down. So how you doing, Seth? I'm doing good, man. I'm Listen. I am hi- happy to be on the hyperdrive. Hi- happy to be on the hyperdrive. I'm on the hyperdrive. Welcome to the hyperdrive channel. I'm on the hyperdrive hype train. <laughs> <laughs> wow! <laughs> Bro, yeah. today's been crazy, man, with yeah, Star dude. Wars stuff, right? Everything. Everything has been nuts, man. Everything's been nuts. How are we doing now? Better. Yeah, Better? I don't hear anything now. I think so. Well, I don't know. That was weird. Yeah. Craig is saying, make sure Frankie doesn't have his speakers on. Yeah, nope, I know. they're not on. Everything's through the headset. Nice yeah. try, Craig. Okay. <laughs> I feel like I still hear something. I don't hear anything. No? No. All right. Well, let's Father, keep it going. can you hear me? We now have six people hanging out with us tonight. We got, let's see, Raging Mando's in the chat. Hey, hey Frankie, how you doing? Yeah, man? I'm doing good. You're doing good? Okay, cool. We got primetime reviews up in the chat. We got Cool Low, Big D's in the house. We got Craig, half-ass reviews. Thor 2941. He's got 2445 Jim. 2445 Jim. Yeah, I said that right. If I mess up on anything right now, I'm running on about, I don't know, two hours of sleep. So 
Well, no yep. one told no you guys we'll to, No one told you guys to wake up at the ass crack of dawn and uh, whatever. Well, it was hey, worth it. It was worth it. If you were a Star Wars fan, you would understand, bro. This is what Star I, Wars fans do. We we get up early, we stay up late. It's Star Wars. Today <laughs> yes, is Star sir. Wars day. All right, and when I get done with this, I'm gonna go watch more Star Wars. That's what I do on Star Wars. Well, I gotta go finish. I gotta go finish watching the Bad Batch, though. But I like it so far. How much did go, you watch? Go finish. I it? I think I've got like a half an hour left. Half hour left. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's pretty good, right? Yeah. Who's your yeah, favorite character pretty. so far? Um. I kind of I kind of like Wrecker. Wrecker. That's what, that's mine. I like. I kind I, I kind of like Wrecker, and I like and I like Hunter. You know, but uh, you know what is it? Freaking Crosshair's a dick. Right now he is right. Yeah, I like yeah. Crosshair. I like him. <laughs> Crosshair's a dick, but it's it's still it's a, it's you know what? It it's a really good show. I like how it how it picked up right as a major a major plot point was happening. Yeah. So I thought I thought that was really cool. Um, you know, but uh, yeah, I'm definitely interested to see to see where this goes. So I mean, I'm 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 hooked, and I love the animation. The animation's crazy. Yeah. Is that is that the same animation style that they had for the Clone Wars? Yeah. Yeah, there's a look. This seems a little more uh, refined, but basically, yeah, identical. it looks it looks real good to me. It looks identical to the last season of the Clone Wars. As the Clone Wars progress, the animation style changes. Like at the beginning, it's it's very um, like it's, it's stylized, but it it kind of reminds me of like made for TV yeah uh, uh, 3D animation a little bit at the beginning. But then yeah. like when you get into like see the end of season two towards the beginning of season three. The animation style changes. It gets a little bit more richer, and then the 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 movements are a lot more fluid. I remember there was a video that somebody put up that they were comparing space battles in the first season to what was going on in the third season. It just was completely different. So, yeah, it's pretty neat. Crosshairs I, is drinking the Kool Aid. Yeah, he is. <laughs> I, I, I like. I like. Um, you know what? You know what I like? I like. I got the feeling. I get to me when I was watching it. Like I got the feeling like I was watching a movie and not a TV show. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah, and, I, and, I, and I and I like that, and that was kind of that was kind of cool. So yeah, yeah, it's it's it ends really well. I think the whole first episode was great, and it's good. What hour and ten minutes? Seven, minutes. Seventy seventy five minutes. Yeah, it's pretty long. Omega was kind of throwing me off at first, but I can see where that's it. It kicked in good. So that's gonna be cool. And then all day we've been bombarded with with uh, with collectible releases from like Hasbro. Jeez. Gentle oh, Giant oh, Sideshow Hot Everyone. Toys. Everyone. Everyone, man. I I'm overwhelmed by it. It's like I don't even know yeah. where to go. <laughs> you know? And yeah, then everybody's hitting me up because it's like I buy everything, right? So it's like are you gonna buy the hollow chest set? Are you gonna buy this hot toy? Are you gonna buy this statue? Are you gonna buy that? I'm like, man, I was like, I will figure it out. Give me a minute. <laughs> oh did the hollow did the hollow chest set sell out? I don't know. I, I think they were down to five left the last time I took a look at it. Out but of the seventy seven? Out of the seventy seven. Nice. But I saw that they also went up on Big Bad Toy Store and then like a couple other sites. So some yeah. of the other retailers. Oh, they might have had some resell. allocate. Yeah, to allocate. Yeah. Yeah. So. Wow, that's that's a that's a big big shell out to to resell for that. Yeah. You man. know you, that that to me that's something that those guys are probably going to be sitting on for uh, for a little bit because that's like that is like for like the most specific of of buyers. <laughs> This is Craig answering for me. Yes, so, yes, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> yeah. It was crazy. Yeah, it was crazy, man. Everything, all the hot toy stuff that that got announced was crazy with the with the blurg and the baby and the and the Yoda, you know, the go guru by himself and you know I, I, I you know, because we were talking about that earlier and it's like I feel like the go guru is a little overpriced in my opinion for for what it is. It, it I I have to agree with that. I would have I'd like to see that like about maybe like forty dollars cheaper. I yeah, I would have, I would have maybe like an like a night like a ninety to a hundred dollar price point. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think George had to post that about Comic Concepts having Echo for a nice price, so I had to go pick that up. Uh, Dude, Frankie. that's the place to go, man, for hot toys, Comic Concepts, bro. Uh, yeah, Frankie. <laughs> George Frankie's. Is, George, I got up last night around three. I'm guessing three a.m. to piss and sleepily said to myself, "I'm supposed to be doing something now." But then I went back to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cool, cool. Always thing. Sadly, Legos didn't release anything. I think it's because they released the R two early, not yeah. too early, but R two D two early. Um, yeah, or I not? Or not? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think that's the only reason why they didn't drop anything today, and that thing sold out. That's on back order. Um, yeah. What else? What else? They 
I mean, my favorite releases today was the Echo, uh, the the Blurg, and Ahsoka Tano. Yeah. And then of the reveals, I'm I'm digging the Anakin, but I feel like the portrait on the Mythos is eh, it's a little bit off, but I still dig it. Um, and uh, uh, Quill, Quill was was a cool uh, cool drop. Quill. 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 I want to say Quill. 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 We got to see <laughs> we got to see Hunter, but we didn't see a portrait. We didn't see a portrait for Hunter, just the face. But you see they're doing realistic portraits. They're trying yeah. to make it go in line yeah. with what they're doing with the Clone Wars, so that's cool. So I'm definitely going to have to pick up all them. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm, no and I like it in that scale. Like, I was talking to, to my man Joe, and um, he wants them in quarter-scale statues. And I'm like, I I would love to have them in quarter-scale statues, but could you imagine the space, space. you would need and, space. and the cost? There's you yeah. got to get Because they're going to release Omega with them, I'm, I'm assuming so. So you have at least... Five to six statues at at least close to six hundred dollars a pop. So you're like thirty six hundred dollars almost on on statues right there. Yeah. You know to get the whole set and then the space you need to do that. I, I just I don't have that. So plus you with the figures you can pose them and make them look cool. I always wanted to get the uh, Republic Commando thing. Yeah. Let's see, Coolo, have you built it yet? I kind of want one to have on near my desk. I haven't built it yet. Uh, the first thing that uh, Seth and I are going to be building on the uh, Lego Lounge is uh, he's doing his Ecto One, right? That's the one. We're yeah, we are doing. Yeah, we are doing the Ecto One. Um, I have the Ecto One. I have the Venom bu- the Venom Bust, and the Carnage Bust. But yeah, I want to start with that uh, with that Mamma Jamma first. So, the Ecto. Uh, and then yeah. I'm going to be doing a Tantive. So, bless you, Tantive. <laughs> <laughs> would you buy the og mando and blurg it's around 500 dollars um if i'm not gonna buy it that way because i already have the original mando but if you don't have the original mando there's your chance to get it is that the, yeah how much is the flip on that on that so thing? so the original so the original price of the mando by itself when it first released was uh 243 um, now it's going between like the 350, 400 range. Um, it'll probably gonna, it's probably gonna go down a little bit now because a lot of people that missed out on it the first time are gonna probably buy the bundle with the blurb. Yeah. So, you know. True. And then Jedi Shizzle's asking about that uh, Vader. So that's an interesting release. So I, I, I have a feeling it's gonna be a premium format, and I'm really hoping that it's. The, it's either going to be the premium format to go, I think, with Ahsoka Tano, since they just released the Ahsoka Tano, or I think it could be an Empire Strikes Back Vader. So, and, and I'm kind of leaning towards the latter. I think it's going to be an Empire, because they've already done a, a, a Return of the Jedi. They did a Rogue One, you know, they, but they haven't done, and, and they did a um, the original, uh, uh, A New Hope. They did that, you know, way back then. I think that was the first premium format. So I think that, that it could be Empire that they do this time. Yeah. <clears throat> who's to say? Who's to say that can't be a mythos? I hope it's not a mythos. Who's but but who's to say? But who's to say? Just throwing that out there. You know, I gotta play yeah. devil's advocate. I know. I gotta play devil's I know. advocate. I know. If know. I wake up tomorrow morning and I find out it's a mythos, I'm gonna have a little bit of a bitch fest for a little bit. But then I'll, I'll, I won't say it too loud. I know a lot of people want Vader. Oh wait, wait, no, no, no. George won't have a bitch fest. George will just be like, yeah, <laughs> the pointy. I get the pointy finger. How do you feel about that mythos, though? Because it really doesn't look like the other mythos lines. Which one? That Anakin. It look. It looks like the newer ones. Does I think it, it, I I think it lines I up pretty well with uh, with Kenobi. Yeah, it lines up well with him. But I mean, like putting it next to Maul and uh, Ventress, it just didn't seem to mesh with it. I think it is meant to mesh better with with Kenobi, but I think it all lines up is because they're doing nothing but the Clone Wars. Yeah, I mean, as far as the series, but I mean, just uh, the artistic style, if you will. Yeah, but Kenobi doesn't line up with them either. Kenobi, yeah. Kenobi looks a little more animated, I think, than the other the other three. Yeah. So, but I think they line up better together than the original Mythos line does. Even though the original Mythos line has all the, the same style bases. I mean, you have uh, Vader and, and Kenobi that are, you know, obviously like newer or, or, or original trilogy. Fett is original trilogy. The Gamorrean is meant to be uh, pre Clone Wars, and and um, and Maul's meant to be pre Clone Wars. Yeah. So. Hmm. Must be nice to just look up and reference the the, the statues. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is. <laughs> hey man, I worked just I, casually I spent a lot of time. I know you did. I spent a lot of time trying to get those pieces, man. <laughs> 
And thank God I got it before all the hype is on it now, man. Because the Vader, I can't believe how much that thing's gone up. It's crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. George, George's whole world is going to come to a screeching halt tomorrow when it says, unveiling new Darth Vader mythos. Oh, I know. I'm, I'm, you know, and I shot a message to um, the Q, Q. Herrick brothers. <laughs> uh, I, I, I shot a message over to them and asking him about if, if the Anakin was theirs. He didn't respond back to me yet. So I don't know. And he said that he did something. But I don't know if if, uh, if that's if that's the one. How, did he do something that involved putting maybe like a uh, image of maybe like a Muppet in the base? No, you and the Muppet. You you really want to want to want to catch heat from this guy. The guy thought it was a joke at first. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, again, I'm not the one who mentioned it. <laughs> no, you're just the one that that amplifies it. But it does. <laughs> that, was know, pri- that was a that was a private chat, sir. I'm saying he didn't say it out loud. He didn't say it out loud. You wanted to let it out into the world. <laughs> Listen, ever since ever since I've even mentioned the Muppets, I've got people commenting on the hunt videos now, mm-hmm. asking, saying that I sound like Kermit the Frog. Yeah, you're a Muppet of a man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I'm Kermit the Frog. Piggy, piggy. All right. Who wants to go first? We'll let Frankie um, go first, man. Frankie, yeah, yeah, I'm Frankie's dying. Been Come Frankie's on, Frankie. Dude, oh, wow. So yesterday, I just kind of slightly slid this up. So apologize in advance. I am not set up like George and Seth. My setup is made for gaming, not for unboxings. But yes, this bad boy, I've been, I just slid it up that much. And oh, dude, the, that the gave me, nice. that gave me the feels right there. Yeah, the retro, the retro style. The retro style. Just, yeah. But. That's how oh, my, yeah. Vader, that's how that Vader, the Vader is that I got the 40th anniversary Vader. The rec, the packaging was the same way. Yeah, that's just freaking gorgeous. So I'll start getting was, this out. And... Yeah. I wish there was a way to make Frankie big and then us like smaller on the sides. I think we could do that. I don't see how we can because it's like when I click on, on this option, see, yeah, then I get big. Yeah. No, hold on. Hold on. And then, hold on, oh, guys. How'd you do that? Uh, you move the you move the images around. Oh, really? Yeah. All right, cool, man. I didn't know that one. You have to show me that one. Good All job. Right, so pop simple. Open. You click you click on the picture and you slide it. <laughs> Can you slide us over onto the left and him on the right? Or that's the only the only direction? No, no, not like oh. that. <laughs> Hold on. I know what you're asking for. I know. I know what you're asking for. Give me one second there, Cheech. Seth's gonna fix it all up. He just called you Cheech. Who's good? Who's Cheech? He called you Cheech. Why? Why am I Cheech? <laughs> you, well, you don't look like Chong right now. No, I don't look like Chong. I know that. <laughs> it's all right, man. Just make him big. We'll be here on this side. All it's right. good. All right. All right. Yep. yep. So there's one side. Nice. I Very love nice. this right here. Very nice. Yeah. That's dope. That's is classy, it, right is there. Is this sold out now? Uh, no, you can still get it. Okay. Yep. I don't know how many they got left. In the back. I've got yeah. to find me some stormtroopers, man. You got to right. find stormtroopers, and then you got to find the uh, the carbonite freezing chamber. Yeah, actually, they just released the stormtrooper commander. Okay. Yeah, but yeah, but those aren't commanders with him; those are just regular stormtroopers. No, but you can yeah, take that Paltron off. That's right, and he'd just be a regular stormtrooper. Just be a regular one. That's true. Yeah, they're yeah, because they what they're they're cheaper than getting the uh, the the older the older ones because what the the older ones go for like four or five hundred dollars because they come with the. Um, with the back pat with the back panels like George has on his wall. So Carlos says that Vader's already on wait. Oh, list. Vader's the on the wait list. Got. Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah. Hey, Craig. IG Eleven just went up on wait list. Hey, Craig. And that shit that, hasn't even shipped out I, yet. Can I use them? <laughs> like well, a glove. Can I use them, Craig? Uh, this thing is loaded to the hilt with accessories. Craig is, Craig is saying Frankie hung, hanged. Around the HT edge too long now. The hot toys edge running too running long. Back. Yeah. yeah, Craig's the one to put the freaking spark on that powder keg. Hey, hey, Frankie, can we get a can we get a hot toys from you? Hot toys. <laughs> Not bad. That's pretty good. That was pretty good, man. I felt it. I felt it from the loin. You felt it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did they? Okay, so. Got two helmets. Got to figure out how to get this thing off, and I will oh. not be displaying this yeah. one. I don't even know what Listen, the hell about. Does anybody know what the deal is with if if this is your first time uh, handling a hot toy? Which I hope. I, okay. Well, I mean, just brand not, new. Okay. Be be very gentle. You. I'm sure you know the parts are very difficult. 
We don't right. want any, any any breakage because uh, you know <laughs> oh, that's the last thing. That's the last thing we want on May the fourth. <laughs> yeah, it's got this thing has some weight to it. Okay, I'm impressed. But uh, here we go. That's nice. I like the I like the weathering on it. So is this the helmet you're going to be using? No, because no. that. What is that? The the two markings on the yeah. top. Yeah. Yeah, that has to do with the Mandalorians. Um, hold on, I'll, I'll look it up. Yeah, it, it's, I don't even know what that. So that's a, that's a no. Because Captain Rex has uh, has the similar. Yeah. Frankie, uh, put it on does your articulate. black gloves. <laughs> that's cool. <laughs> Can't remember what they're called. They're called uh, a shriek, uh, shriek hawk eyes. Shriek Hawk Eyes, I think, is what they're or J guys. When I look into those boba eyes, oh, he's got little plastic booties. Yep, my favorite the plastic on the boots. <laughs> okay, so oh, a common thing. Oh, so, yeah, uh, it's definitely a reoccurring thing with most hot toys. So just so you know what they are, so J guys simplification is known as Shriek Hawk eyes, uh -huh. in, uh, in Mando, are uh, more commonly referred to as simply as J, where a Mandalorian sigil bestowed by clan leaders as mark of honor, awarded for particular acts of bravery. That's what uh, those, those markings are. Yeah, still not displaying it. Oh, there we go. Maybe they had something to do with uh, behind the scenes. The J guys originated. Yeah, uh, J guys originated in production concept art and early paint explorations by Joe Johnston for the armor that would be worn as Bo by Boba Fett. That's where that is. It's for his oh. concept helmet. Okay. So now you know. Thank you. The more you know. Oh my God. <laughs> we need the star. Dude, so there's That's all these. Oh, really? <laughs> oh. Hot toys noob. <laughs> yeah, right. Nice, dude. That happened to me the first time. <laughs> <laughs> hey everybody, Fruit. if you're watching, May the fourth. May the fourth be with you. Um, what is uh, it? Thor twenty nine forty one. Seth, I'm waiting on that. The waiting on the waiting list for that Vader you picked up. Oh, well, hopefully you get it, man. Hopefully someone cancels their order, or you know they they just so happen to find an abundance lying in the warehouse that they didn't account for. So there are six pairs of hands. Mm -hmm. Yes. Damn. Yep. And those are fun to swap out too. Yeah, I probably won't get it, into man. all that tonight, but you get used to it. But yeah, this is it's clean. Yeah. Uh I love the weathering. <laughs> the weathering's on point. It actually looks like layers. It doesn't just look like it's uh you know, one layer and just paint it. It actually looks like there's about three layers of paint. Hmm. GI bro. Hmm. <laughs> That's cool. That's cool. Yeah. You know the it's only thing I don't awesome. the only thing I the only critique I can honestly say about that just by looking at it on the camera, I think the gray the gray undersuit just looks a little too on the baggy side. On the baggy side? Yeah, so he like looks the, on there. Yeah. On the Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi it was. Yeah, it look, just looks a little baggy. I, don't know, I, li I like it more more form-fitting, you know? No, it, it wasn't hugs, in the hugs, hugs the body. It's a little tight. That looks dope, man. I like it. And He's got his Boba Fett shirt on, you know? I got oh, a Boba dude. Fett shirt on. I got a Boba Fett shirt on. I know, I was on. proud of you there. I got a Wookiee shirt. <laughs> uh, Let the Wookiee win. Yeah, my, mine, nice mine is... Mine is Boba Fett oh, trying dope. to escape the uh, the Snarlack pit. Cloud Snarlack. City base. That's dope. Nice. I and wish that I wish that base would light up. Light up. Yes, light up would be good on that. I wish that base would light there up. That would have been that would have been cool. Yeah, it's pretty good. Cause just a little bit of that like orange orange shoe light coming yeah. up. Yeah. On the, dude, that would that would have looked awesome, right? I think I'm gonna make one. Yeah, you probably could 3D print something like that, right? Uh, I got plenty of styrene. Throw that. Yeah, that would work too. And then, so it's got. Oh, this is cool. 
Don't, yeah. I, I got to find, yeah, I'm not taking it. <laughs> well, take out what you want, but I mean. Yeah. I got to figure out what that one is. So it's got another little symbol. That's dope. Is that a knee pad? It's probably more of the concept design. I think yeah. that, that's what it was with the 40th. Is. Because if I remember correctly, there was the, you had two versions of the armor. You had the concept design armor that you could have them with, or you could have the one that's as, as seen on the screen. You know? Yeah. Obviously, I'm going to go with the one on the screen. Mm -hmm. The only so I love everything more about the Empire Strikes Back Boba Fett than Return of the Jedi, except for his yeah E3 blaster. It looks incomplete to me. Yeah, this this end up here just yeah. looks like uh, they just slapped something on there. Yeah, but that's how it was in the film though. This thing, yeah, it was, but this thing has got awesome, awesome detail. I mean, it's yeah, yeah that is pretty nice. And the wood stock, you can't see it on here, but it looks like wood. Like wood? Yeah. It's That's got open. some depth to it. That is yeah, dope. even, I mean, not, I mean, yeah, obviously I'm a big Boba Fett fan, but this is a really, really freaking nice piece. Nice, man. Congrats. Super, super happy with this. Very cool. And thank you to all you enablers. <laughs> I do what I can. That's what we do best, man. It's what we do best. But I'll be posting pictures once I get all this together and stuff. Cool. So badass, man. What do you got? Well, we're gonna go with Seth next. I'm gonna be the last one. Ah, okay. okay. Let, of let course, well, you know. Yeah, yeah. Hey. All right. So here we'll. Uh... Hey. Hey, this is good. Just man. like that. Magic. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> you can do magic. <laughs> so I am going to open up. Yeah, Carlos um, says, how rude said they invite you onto the show and you're texting. Yep. I have to agree with Carlos there. Uh, unfor unfortunately, some of us still have to work even when we're not at work. So I'm responding to my boss. So. Mm. Or said... Hope that my wife ordered one of those Boba Fett. I'm upping her NyQuil dose. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. <laughs> I put that up on screen at some point. So here is the Heavy Infantry Mandalorian Black Series. Very nice. Let's see. You know, I still haven't unboxed that that one out of the out of its uh, box. Obviously, I'm gonna watch like that do it. I, I like you know, you and, that, and I like I like this I like this for a reason because it's very the accessories with this are very minimal and I like very figures that come with very minimal accessories because that means the less chances of me losing shit. It's minimalist. <laughs> Plug that in there if that's where it wants to go. I think <laughs> we're alone now. Alone now. Doesn't seem to be anyone around. My <laughs> children are always behave. putting songs in my head, man. Running just as fast as we can. Hoping <laughs> that you want another's hand. In the night away. Yeah, yeah, no, really. You already messed that song up. Like, bad. Oh. Forgot about the backpack. You know, the only thing I'm not like a like a fan of about this about this gun for the heavy Mando mm -hmm. is like the the placement of the handle in the back is just it's it makes it very difficult. Does it? Yeah. And it's like you can't can't pose them the way God intended them to pose to be posed. Like, and I'm also disappointed too with this because I wish it would have came. You know, it's funny. I talk about being a minimalist with the accessories, mm -hmm. and I'm kind of, I'm kind of upset that it didn't come with the, um, with the jetpack effects, and it oh. didn't come with like a flight, you know, like a flight stand. Flight stand I could deal with. I don't like jetpack effects too much. I'm leaving. Did you see? The, uh, did you watch for the uh, Boba Fett Deluxe figure? Mm. And all the stuff they're doing for uh, that you can do with that backpack, with the jetpack on it. Yeah, you so they got to it fire off the missile. Yeah, it's got that. It's also got where it's uh, like he's flying, so it's got the smoke coming out the bottom. Smoke coming out the bottom. Yeah, so here, here you guys go. 
Nice. I like how they have on the tip of the on on the tip of the tongue, the tip of the teeth. I like that they have the um like they have that blue hewing around yeah. the muzzle around the muzzle, which is kind of cool. Looks like he fired his load From off heat. a couple of times. You know, um, the backpack's kind of cool. It's got some uh, really decent uh, weathering. We got a sideshow code that um, went, just went up. Do or do not. You get five dollars. Oh well, yeah. Let me let me let me let me jump at that opportunity. No, I, yeah, I'm just saying, man. Just letting you know. So, and people in the chat know. There we go. That's a lot better. So yeah, so this this is a cool figure. Like I said, I the flight the flight stand would have been really good with this. But uh, what is it? Um, uh, Thor saying it's a little funny to stand. The flight stand would have been a must. Yeah, see, I can already, I can already tell that it's. I mean, the sideshow one is is um, what the hot toys. I'm sorry, the hot toy one. Yeah, I love is, the is hot a... toys one. The hot toys one is a is a beast. That, the hot toys one's a little hard to pose too, though. That, the... that undersuit. Yeah, man, that thing is difficult. I'm not gonna lie though. Right now, as that stands, that's my hot toy of the year pick. That one. Yeah, I think Cody's better than him in my opinion. Dude, getting this backpack on this figure is about a pain in the ass. Yeah, it's is insane, it? dude. Yeah, yeah this so figure, there's this figure it's got definitely these, has balance these clasps the right here. Yep, yeah. the hooks, and then trying to get that. Do yeah, this or figure, do not. This figure definitely has balance <laughs> issues. Um, I'll probably have to get a stand. I have stands around somewhere, but uh, the weathering on the helmet is really cool. I also would have liked to if the piece on the helmet would have would have came down. That would have been kind of cool, but I, I, don't I like think that it. Comes down on the other one either. I don't think it's yeah. meant to come down. Yeah, I, I like it. Otherwise, it's a pretty cool figure. It goes it goes nicely with the rest of the uh, the Black Series ones. So you now, got a, quite is, a few of them too, don't you? What the Black Series figures? Yeah. I've got a, I've, I've got a few. Not not a, not not a lot. I mean, you know, I I you know when it comes to Star Wars, to be honest with you, um, I'm kind of I've kind of fallen into like the um, kind of like the trip. Uh, well, I shouldn't say kind of, kind of like almost like where where um, OG Geek is with his stuff. He kind of likes just like the helmeted, the helmeted yeah. characters, and that's that's kind of almost where I'm at. You know, I'm not I'm not like a you know like a big like Jedi or a Sith you know Sith guy. I or you know, but I uh, could see that. I mean, I, I'm, yeah. I'd say that I'm in that in that same boat. I mean, but, I will collect some Jedi and some Sith, yeah. but. I'm not it's just like heavy into it's just something about the helmeted. It's just something about the helmeted characters that just are awesome. Yeah, I think that's for my, like my figures, my statues. I don't care if it's got a good portrait on it. I'll pick it up, especially if it's got a good portrait. The Lego Vader Castle. The Lego Vader Castle. That's dope. Did you guys see? I mean, somebody posted. I forgot who who told us about it, but the uh, the lightsaber two pack that was being sold on at uh, at uh, Disney World. Disney. Or, I didn't see anything about that, dude. Yeah. Man, I am sorry like I missed out box. on that. What what kind of two pack? It comes with uh, Ray's lightsaber, which you can get. I have that lightsaber. You can get that anyway. But it also comes with the Princess Leia lightsaber, and then it's uh, it's meant to be like a replication of that. The end of of the of uh, the Rise of Skywalker, where she buries the lightsabers, you know, and she said, oh, "Fuck I'm, this, I'm a Skywalker." Shit. Oh boy. Oh man. That, oh. That, man, that box is done. <laughs> Epic oh. unboxing, bro. You know, sometimes, <laughs> you know, man, sometimes I get so frustrated with these freaking boxes because you got to peel back every little piece of tape in order to get it open. There you, know? you go. All right, man. Went all gorilla. Anyway. Um, no, Big D, Big D's like put the shock face. He's like, <laughs> the box. Um, yeah. It's a boba in a box. So it, so it comes wrapped up in, in that like. Uh, Holy that, shit, I got it on. That cloth. Yeah, I told you. <laughs> so the lightsabers come wrapped up in the cloth, and they have a box, like a special, like looks yeah. like a wooden box that it goes in and everything. Three hundred and seventy-five dollars for both lightsabers. Only three thousand of them were made, sold out, and now those things are are selling. But I've seen the the the, the official sold pieces for eight hundred to eleven hundred dollars on eBay right now. Insane. Damn. Freaking Insane. scalpers, man. Insane what they're selling for. And to be honest with you, I mean, I like the set for what it is. You know, if you were to get the whole set. But uh -huh. the Princess Leia lightsaber, if you see some of the ones like from uh, Saber Forge or Corbanth and all that, they make a much better looking version of that lightsaber than Disney did. Uh, but, yeah. <laughs> but, 
Craig, Shit. the box has a corner ding when selling down the road. <laughs> 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 Carlos was like, "Get some scissors, set. Yeah. Packages so in used condition. So here's the here's the jet here's the jet pack. This is another one I have that I haven't opened up yet. Uh, yes, yeah, the Return of the Jedi weird, version, which is co- which is kind of cool. And then yeah, and then here's the little the little missile that goes that goes on top. So I think it is pretty cool that that deluxe figure that uh, that they were talking about uh, that you're mentioning, Frankie uh, has the firing missile now. Yeah. So this one's got two. So. That one fires also? No, no, no. Oh. No, it's just I got two jetpacks. I wonder why they gave me the Return of the Jedi one with it. So this is actually kind of cool. This actually comes with the uh, with like the grappling hook. Nice. But I don't I don't really care for that. So. <laughs> is it going with the box? <laughs> huh? Is it going to go with the box? <laughs> There you go. He says, tremble in the force as a million of inbox collectors buttholes just puckered up <laughs> watching Seth rip the box open. <laughs> There's some guy right now that cannot find that box anywhere, that toy anywhere, and they're like, oh yeah. my god. A million of a million inbox collectors just cried out and were suddenly silenced. <laughs> <laughs> say you, say me, say it for always. Wow, man. He don't give a shit. I don't. <laughs> Do you give a shit? No, I really don't. <laughs> God, man, the articulation on this sucks. Does it? Yeah. You guys remember we talked about the uh, super glue in Legos? Oh, yeah. This fucking jetpack is about to meet Gorilla Glue. Why? Really? No, hell no. I'm just okay. messing. I'm so dude. here are. I got two angry unboxers here with me. It's like I'm the only oh, one here. <laughs> you know what? I wonder if you can use these on, on the on the heavy Mando. You got two of the jet pack. Uh, Plug it in the hole and find out. Yeah, let's see. Is is there a hole to accept it? <laughs> Seth's gonna make one. <laughs> It's square on the bottom. It's going in. It's going in. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't fit, Seth. <laughs> oh, it will fit. Oh, yes, it will fit. Uh, Craig's like, jetpack to Frankie equals capes to Junior. <laughs> uh, uh, I'll be a monkey's uncle. Would you look at that? Hey. Little old good, a, good, a little old good Jewish force ingenuity. Kyle's asking how much for the box. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Right in there. Perfect. Look at that. There you go, so, man. So, so much better now. So, sorry, Boba. You're grounded. But the cool thing is, is that it comes with two... What, what's his rifle? The EE3. So, it comes with two EE3s. One fully fully assembled. One that's one that, the Jedi and ones. Then, Return of the Jedi. Yeah, and, one that's cut in ha- and one that's cut in half. Yeah, it was Luke. Oh, right? from Luke. Yeah, and yeah. it's got like a green... It's got like a green like effect around it. I mean, you can plug it plug it back in like that and make it whole, but you know, it was kind of oh, stupid. Keys back in? To, yeah, That's keys weird. back in. That's so cool. that is kind of neat. Because then you can but, like, you know, play with your toys. Be like wong. Oh, see, at least you see at least the, oh, see at least on this one the eyepiece comes down. They got That's it right cool. on this one. Is the cape sculpted or cloth? Uh it's sculpted. 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 Hasbro's too cheap for fabric. You think the fabric would be cheaper? Well, not re- not really, because they're already pouring a mold. They used to not be, because I've got this one here. It and would be cool if it would you be can cool see if it's you fabric, the off. right? Is is that a black series? Uh, I don't remember that, what it was. Looks like a three like, quarter. That's figure. a three and three quarter. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I think on three the three and three quarter one, they actually used the uh, the fabric because it was it was cheaper at that point. I was gonna yeah. Craig says that's lightsaber juice. But I hear you, man. That lightsaber, that that cut looks kind of weird. But like, why would the lightsaber leave the yeah. uh, the residue? So this is actually a pretty cool figure, though. But like, I'm happy that the 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 jetpack effects work on the heavy Mando. Nice. So that makes me feel better. All right, and that is Seth's unboxing. Nice. So if you guys want to see me, if you guys ever want to see me throw more shit live on camera, head over to our uh, our parent <laughs> channel, MCE. <laughs> we throw stuff there all the time. We throw shit around at your leisure. All right. So, 
All right, my turn. You don't know the power of the dark side. All right. And now we'll get the professional unboxing. Boxing the Emperor. Well, I'm definitely not going to be as angry as you two. I hope not, anyway. <laughs> well, that's a big, clear way right there. Do you see the damper right there? All right. All the better to see you with, my dear. Yeah, right. The attack on my life has left me scarred. The falls. Looks like somebody's racing in your neighborhood again. <laughs> I like how you know? they kept. I like how they kept saying that the Jedi attempted. The the Jedi attempted uh, on the uh, on the Emperor's uh, life during the uh, the, um, the Bad Batch. Well, like all the by the victors. Nah. So, Seth now gives a new meaning to unboxing. One thing I've just discovered that being part of an unboxing. Mm -hmm. This really does give you that, like, when you were a kid and got yeah. your toys and your buddies came over to hang out. <laughs> it gives you the feels, Frankie. It does. It says, hey, I'm almost 50 and I can do this shit, too. Yeah. <laughs> no, sir, I did not see you playing with your toys. <laughs> I love that scene, man. <laughs> That's, like, one of my favorite scenes in uh, Spaceballs. Yeah. yeah. Did you see me playing with my toys? No, sir, I didn't see you playing with your toys again. <laughs> oh, oh, take, take me, Dark Helmet. Take me. Uh, uh. <laughs> Love that movie. That really does deserve a sequel. It does, man. Really yeah, does. that needs to happen before freaking Mel Brooks dies. Yeah. Now watch, now that I said that, I bet you freaking dies. Yeah, if I read that shit no, in the morning, Seth. I'm saying, Seth. <laughs> I'm saying, you, they, you know, that man's a national treasure. He is I'm a gonna, national treasure. I'm going to tell his family to get a hold of you. That's not me. You can blame the you can blame the movie association for not allowing that to happen. All right, all right, Chad. There you go. See it finally. Now he got some skinny arms, man. No arms, skinny. It's kind of cool. All right, what else we got? We got hands. We got a cane. Comes with his cane. How's that cane look? He got his pimp cane. Nice. Hmm. I am the most. Darth. How's his robe? Darth Pimp. <laughs> the robe is good quality, man. It's nice. You got uh, Luke's lightsaber. Oh, damn. It's dope. You got uh, several hands. You got mm. the... Uh, looks like a looks like a pimp. Darth, Darth, Darth Pimpius. Darth Pimpius. <laughs> hey, with his cane. Got some hands right there. Then we move on to Leia 2. We got in this thing. Um, we got layers upon layers upon layers. My wife's gonna see this and be like, I "Paid what again for that?" <laughs> 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 That's when you say it was on sale, honey. <laughs> no, hey. So you remember when we were talking and it said, uh, "Whenever she buys something, I don't say anything because at some point it becomes." okay for me okay so she calls me she bought this tortoise and then she went and bought another one and felt bad about it so she's like i'm sorry i shouldn't have got it I'm like no it's cool because today like a turtle yeah a no sir it's not a turtle it's a tortoise right, i've been i've been corrected on that very many times okay i was about to say they aren't they from the same reptilian gene pool yes sir but it's not a turtle it's a tortoise Frankie, you're not turtly enough for the Turtle Club. I know this has got a light-up feature, but... <laughs> yeah, good, good luck trying to f figure out where those batteries go. No, right here. I know where they okay. go. I just... It doesn't do, they act, do, they, do they take the uh, the small batteries, or do they take actual, like, double A's or triple A's? It looks like they take double A's or triple A's. Oh, well, that, well, that'll make your life a lot easier. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. I'll test that out later, though, because otherwise... I, I like the chair, I like the chair though. The chair looks yeah, sick. The chair is sick. Yeah, it does Throne, look good. man. Look at that. That's dope. It's like I'm almost more impressed with the throne than I am with the figure. <laughs> Arise. Arise now, Lord Medina. Do you have the uh, Hot Toys Emperor's Guard? No. Although, I could have gotten them with this one, but I didn't want to pay more. It's like I, I had enough of... Uh, it's like I, need, I needed to, to, to save money for other stuff. From, his, from here, his face looks like the chick from The Exorcist. <laughs> Big old smile on his face. I know. Ah! <laughs> it's like I can't get closer. This is gonna get closer. The power of Christ compels you. Compels you. 
Let's see what I can do to make this look better for you guys. <laughs> Thor2941, Hot Toys being unboxed and no Seth Hot Toys unboxing. This is Bizarro World. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right? I said, Seth, do you have something to uh, tell me? I don't, I don't have any Star Wars Hot Toys at the moment. I've unboxed all mine. Got a face. You could do like six degrees of Star Wars. Why does his head look like a butt? Well, because that's how he looks. And there it is. I'm saying, <laughs> you know, Seth's there always it is. connected to his ass. <laughs> yes. You talk Seth, about me and my Star Wars references. Seth, Seth is a, let, let the ass flow through you. <laughs> You don't clear, know well, the power, power of the not, asshole. It's not, it's not flowing through me. It, it's not throw, flowing through me. It's flowing through his forehead. I'm just saying. You know? Like the other day when we were talking about Psylocke, he's like, why does he have a butterfly on her head? I'm like, dude, it's not a butterfly. It's part of the game. Or part of the part of the comic. So I told him about that before we started the show. Uh-huh. Then we start the show, and he's like, well, why does she have a butterfly on her head? I'm like, <sighs> <laughs> more like the hand I would use. So at least the uh, the peg is staying inside his um, his wrist. So I'm mm-hmm. definitely got to get online and order Lando. Which which Lando? The, the sideshow. The sideshow. Yeah, the hot toy. Or no, no, it's, it's a, a sideshow. Side 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 show, yeah. Uh, no, there's a, there's a hot toy. I thought not if not if him in the. Um... Yes, he wants the one oh, from the... Empire. Yeah, the one it's it's on pre order right now. Oh, what is that? Part. But he's in the yeah, but he's in the Cloud City suit, not the yeah, uh, yeah not that's the Jabba, not the not the Jabba Skiff, not the no. Jabba Skiff suit. No, no, not the right. no. I need the one for Cloud City so I can redo my favorite scene. <laughs> Craig, great scene, Falcon in the asteroid field. <laughs> <laughs> Thor said you don't know the power of the pee hole forehead. <laughs> Does kind of look like the freaking head. <laughs> <laughs> see, and you see, there you go. You know, you guys. Right, you started it. I exactly, but I state the facts, and then you guys, you guys are like, shit, it really does. The only thing that don't make any sense to me, and this, this happens with the sideshow piece from also his, his feet dangle on the chair. It's like they don't touch the floor. <laughs> well, he is short. Yes, yeah, look. Like, yeah, but it's not very intimidating. No, it's <laughs> not, not very, right? <laughs> be kicking yeah, his feet. Yeah, <laughs> your feet are kicking in the air. Amber, it's Amber, like, Ra- Amber, Racy saying, watching a bunch of grown men play with dolls. <laughs> it's like I'm trying to tuck his his cloak a little lower on his head, but <laughs> the, well, don't you have to go to his uh, his nether region to tuck the head in? Oh no, that's right, because he's got the pea head on. The- <laughs> we we got this dude at work, man. He's like. 40 something years old but i swear he's probably four foot five uh-huh. he goes to the restroom his feet do dangle <laughs> you can see under the stall that's messed up it's like howard the duck and they always call him out when he's in there <laughs> poor guy <laughs> are you in there <laughs> i can't see your feet that's messed up oh, that's wrong you can't bully people <laughs> i don't bully people i'm just you're, saying. you're well you're laughing at his expense well it is funny George, you, you kind of seem kind of fuzzy, like you're out of focus a little bit. Do I? Unless well, I don't know. Point I can't. is to get the emperor a little bit. Palps is in. Yeah, palps. Palps more in focus. Yeah. Yeah, he is. Ah. <laughs> Craig is saying we need to see the light up, or I want a refund. The light up on. Man, I gotta find the batteries. Who said that, Craig? <laughs> yeah. Of course. Yeah. Of course, Craig would say. Josh. That. Josh Cooper is saying the ass. The ass head is the source of unlimited power. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I like it. I just don't like that his feet dangle. That's just weird. I wonder if he's Butthead's dad. <laughs> there, nope. Yeah, there he is in the throne. That's cool. I like the throne, man. That throne is awesome. Cheaper than Regal Robots. Regal Robot? Oh, yeah. Yeah, they got that uh, office chair, right? Yeah. <laughs> Thor 2941, George looks like he's working in an assisted living facility. Okay, Mr. Sith Lord. Your res halos is on the is on the way. You now may take your meds. Take your meds. <laughs> John, John is saying it looks like he's gonna slide off. 
Yeah, it's it's so strange. It's like why wouldn't they design it in a way that his feet would touch the floor? Hmm. They don't go down a new floor. <laughs> Craig is say Craig is saying the EX had the footstool. <laughs> <laughs> that, I need to call uh, uh Lane Tech Lane, Lane Tech Studios. Lane Tech Studios. We need to call Lane Tech Studios I, again. I can't I can't tell if he's sitting in the in the SS Enterprise <laughs> or on the Imperial ship. But thanks to Lane Take with this it's footstool, now I know exactly where he is. He's on the Imperial shuttle. Yeah, yeah. That's what we need to He's do. on the Death Star. I'm sure the light up makes this thing all the better. Hmm. What actually uh, what actually lights up on the chair? There's uh, I think a light that hits him from from the top here down, so that kind of shines that way. And then there's some lights on the on the uh, control. On the panels. Oh, okay, that's cool. Yeah. Should have like looked for some batteries before I start the show. But I don't have anything at my disposal right here. So, whatever. Craig is saying we'll never know. We'll never know. Well, now I gotta check. The instigator. Yeah, man, his feet do not touch the floor at all. It's like I gotta move him more forward in the chair. Thor is saying the deluxe version comes with the clapper for the chair. <laughs> clap on, clap on. The, th no. the Sith Lord. Like, his feet floor, do touch like, the floor. No, they don't. How? No, 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 on the movie. Oh, on the movie, yeah. Yeah, I'm looking at it right now. I had to look. I'm like, do his feet touch the floor? Yeah, you got to wonder sometimes. You know, that'd be one of the things that you miss. You know, you're like, yeah. all this time, and I never noticed that. But no, it, it's touching the floor. Maybe they just raised it in that level. It, it, I think that it could be solved if this um, this uh, lower part of the pedestal on the on the on the seat was just a little lower. You know, with, with the look on his face, it looks like he's going wee. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, and then they do that in a movie, like he gets in the chair. It's on, and he, it's on the uh, uh, Lego movie. movie. It's the uh, Lego. It's, uh, the no, Lego. It's, is it, it Austin Lego. Power? It's Austin it's, Powers. No, no, it's in no, the, no, the it's Star Wars a, Lego. Yeah, it's Lego. Yeah, he gets in the chair and he starts it's spinning like, around in the chair like that. Like, <laughs> 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 oh, man. That's cool, though. I like that. Yeah, it is pretty cool. The two things, I wish his feet would touch the floor, and I wish the cloak on the head would, would uh, hang down a little lower, like that, maybe. Oh, to kind of cover the eyes a little bit? Yeah, to cover the butt head. <laughs> you do not know the true power of the butt. You know, just just a little bit, like like Join. I liked him in the in the film when he when he when uh, when he first um, in Return of the Jedi when he first comes out of the shuttle Tidarian. Yeah, and then you see that the thing is like almost like that on his nose. Yeah, and you just kind of see like part of the nose and the mouth. In the yeah. mouth. Yeah, I think that looks a little more sinister when you don't see the the whole face, especially when your feet don't touch the floor. <laughs> it's just so. <laughs> What is he, a ghost? He's floating? Yeah, he's floating. He's a dementor. He's You're a, a dementor. wizard, Harry. <laughs> You're a wizard. You're a wizard, Luke. <laughs> oh man. That's fun. It's fun playing with my toys with you guys, man. Thanks for hanging out while you play with my toys. <laughs> the lightsaber looks pretty dope. The the Luke comes with the same lightsaber. What? Um, it Luke, should. It's Luke's yeah. lightsaber. It's Luke's lightsaber. Oh, it's kind of weird. Yeah, Luke it's has his weird. lightsaber. Well, I mean, it. it well, no, that didn't look like. That, why wouldn't he, he? Why wouldn't it come with his own lightsaber? Palp. Yeah, I would think. I would think he would come, but he doesn't use it in that movie, so there's no reason yeah. to have him that way. In the film, he has Luke's at at some point. I think it's magnetized to the. Uh, somehow, I don't know. Well, there's a compartment, maybe. It goes somewhere. <laughs> the cane is sick. They did a nice job with the cane. Hmm. Got to keep that pimp cane strong. Does it reach the floor? I think if so. If he's standing with it? Let's find out. <laughs> it should. Maybe that's the way to get the geriatric look over here. <laughs> that's the way you boba. That's the, that's the way you Palpatine. Yeah. You know what you should do? You should do like one of those like 80s sitcom type things where you just kind of have him like this. With his arm up on the on the chair, and he's just kind of like leaning over, like smiling, <laughs> <laughs> doing like that lean, be like, "Yeah, this is my chair." Let's see if I can get that going here. <laughs> 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 
Craig, Craig. Somehow, somehow loses the fact to think with every passing moment you make yourself more my servant, and he's swinging his legs. <laughs> Thor, uh, Thor, Thor saying, Sith better have my money. <laughs> Jedi yeah, Sizzle is. saying, need a Clone Wars Sidious. I mean, the portrait looks spot on. Looks just like Palpatine. It, it's a nice figure, man. It's pretty good. I like the figure. I mean, I like the, the I like them both set, but I just don't like when he's sitting in the chair. It looks so weird. <laughs> Arise, Lord Arise. Vader. You've done well, Lord Vader. Execute man. utter shitty shit. <laughs> dope, man. I like it. Dope, dope stuff. Need a Clone Wars Sidious. Hmm, maybe. I mean, what's different? What's the di I mean, what's the difference? Maybe he's, what just a couple of years younger. Portrait looks a little different on the on the one from. Um, well, no. So the clone, and I agree with him. the Clone Wars Sidious. If he's talking about. Before he becomes uh, deformed, he looks like uh, like the Chancellor, but he has kind of like a reddish, uh, purple type of robe. Which oh, I like okay. a lot. It's, it's pretty neat. And then he has uh, two lightsabers, you know, <laughs> at least in the in the Clone Wars. So Craig is saying, dope. can the bottom part of the stand be cut down to lower it? Yeah, see, that's that's what I think the problem is, is that this part of the stand here, but this is, you know, a pretty thick piece of plastic. Does, uh, does it have a key? A key. Yeah, there's a like, like key. It does a key does into a the. Key in? Yeah, it's just a circle. Oh, it's just. It's I would not think the, it's not the this, square, but the. Circle. I just think this would have to be remade with the with the stem here just a little bit shorter, you know, so that way, because that's as far as it goes in. That's all that would need to be done for him to be able to sit sit down correctly. Sounds like a Sith problem to me. <laughs> so what you did there, Seth? Hey. Very unique pun, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so man. you got you guys excited for Revenge of, Revenge of the Fifth? I'm looking forward to seeing what that Vader is going to be, man. Yeah, I want to see what that Vader is. Even though I'm not in the market for a Vader, but you know what's funny? That Star Wars figure that they uh, the Black Series one that they announced today it looked more like a um, so, uh, what is it, uh, Savage Press than uh, than a um... oh you were talking about that uh, that Sith. Uh, uh, Grunt yeah, that, yeah, that it looks fights. like yeah, it looks like Savage Savage Press. I think a lot of them on that planet were that color. Oh, okay. And with Maul, I, I believe he was uh, he was transformed somehow. On Dothamir. On uh, Dothmir, yeah. So the Dothmir uh, uh, Zabrax, I think, yeah. were mostly on the yellow side with the, with the tattoos, with the black tattoos. No. That's what he says to little Padawans. A key. Hmm. <laughs> uh, let's see. I don't think there's one else. My Sith better have my money. <laughs> Sith better have my money. Yeah, dude. This has been a good May the 4th. This is probably the most epic May the 4th in, in a while. Yeah, I think going forward, I'm going to take off. I'm taking off next year. Yes. Yep. I'm taking off next year, and I'm definitely going to be in in. Uh, in Make Galaxy's sure you're in Edge. Disney for next year, yeah. Oh yeah. I wish I was there, I was there today. That'd have been fun. Yeah, I bet they do have a lot of cool stuff going on over there. Yeah, just to be there, man, it'd be cool. You know. Yeah, but it's not different from any other day. It's not like they do anything special, right? You don't think they do? I don't, I don't think so. I think they treat it just like a regular. I think they just treat it like a regular day. Sometimes they, they might do they, they might do like a fire like a fireworks thing. Well, I mean, sometimes they do different things. Like uh, they had, I mean, I don't know, if, I can't remember if it was uh, May Fourth or not, but they had uh, like a a show that went on through different areas of the park. So there uh -huh. was like different, st uh, or it was one storyline, but the storyline continued in different parts, and then it ended at night with like this big battle between um, Chewbacca, Ray, and then against uh, uh, Kylo Ren and the and the um, and the uh, the first order, Kylo, and it was a pretty cool battle. And then they had drones that were flying in the air that looked like X wings and Tie fighters, and they were fighting up. In, uh, I in saw the a sky. video of that. I saw a yeah. video of that. So I mean, I think they do some stuff sometimes. Kylo. Yeah, I agree with Thor. Like I, I went back to watch Hasbro Pulse's May the Fourth stream, 
It's all right. I, I don't know. Well, it, well, I mean, Thor, this stream is going to feel genuine because two out of the three, two out of the three of us are super hardcore, you know, Star Wars fans. And one oh, is he's talking of, about us. I thought he was talking about Sunshine. Yeah. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> oh. Oh, that dude on there, yeah. man! Don't even get me started on his commentary. Yeah, yeah, yeah you know, yeah. We're, we're again. You got two out of the two out of the three. Two out of the three of us are diehard Star Wars fans. One of one of us is just kind of like along for the ride, um, you know. But uh, you know, I mean, I I, I get it. You know, you got to understand something. Like when these when these people, whether it's Sideshow or Hasbro or any other company, puts on these type of events, they're they're gonna be you know, as far as going characters and knowing the stories and things like that, they're not going to be as informed. They're just there to talk about the product. They're not going to give like a bag, you know, they're not going to show off a figure and be like, oh, this is the backstory of this, you know, this person such and such. So it's like, you know, where, you know, you know, we were talking about the heavy Mando and the Boba Fett and, you know, Emperor and, you know, we were given like bits and pieces and details of information and stuff like that. So great. two out of three and George is getting there. <laughs> yeah i get that but damn do a little bit of research group 99 what the hell was that well i mean so in in that guy's defense when you're live man like today i i could not get saw Guerrero's name out of my damn mouth and then i would i had it for like a second and then you said something and then i lost it and i was like where did the name go i can't i can't remember <laughs> so I mean, there, there's when you're live, weird stuff happens, man. Yeah. I came in, I came in the right time to your to your stream to your stream this morning. You know, it was right. funny because like you guys were just like looking like you were having like an intense staring competition with like one another. Well, man, you, you know, <laughs> the show it, was so good. It was no, so I good. Know, no, I know, I understand now why you guys were like so like <laughs> intense. You know, like hey. so intense, but it's like you guys were just sitting there like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, and Did, I'm like. Uh, did you see when so what I when I added in the actual video, both of us are looking pretty much at the video, so it it, it worked out. I oh no, I didn't see that. I didn't see that part. Yet. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, but but yeah, no, that was that, that that was good though. But yeah, no, I I uh, I joined I joined you guys at the tail end because uh, you know Sethi Poo needs his uh, his beauty sleep. So mm. yeah, well you know, Mojo, what's up, dude? So you got, you watched the Bad Batch? How'd you like it, man? It was bad. <laughs> Batch. Yeah, but the guy from from Sideshow, like when he started calling the battle droid a a, a Roger Roger, I was like, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. What? Yeah, call it a Roger Roger. <laughs> Jesus Christ. And then they wonder, yeah. and then they wonder why their productions are so horrible. No. Uh, I mean, I, mean, I thought the setup lady? was okay. What Listen, happened to that lady? I'll um, never. Who? What, uh, who? Susan. Susan? Yeah, that was. Oh, she's been name. gone. She's she's been yeah, gone she's forever. Been for a while. I know yeah. she's been gone for what? But did they ever like what happened? No, they no, never they specified about anything. what happened. Yeah. But the you know the funny thing is is like I remember when me and George were covering covering their uh, their sideshow con and they I, and we were all laughing because they they spent like their entire budget on this booth for this baby Yoda sideshow statue, and it was just you know it was just so so odd. It's like, yeah, let's just drop our budget on Baby Yoda and forget about everything else. Yeah, we were also going through a lot of that time, too. But, yeah, I hear you. I thought the production on this one was a little bit better. The, the video quality was really good. Uh, yeah, I like what they that. revealed. I like that they moved around, you know, fairly quickly, not spending too much time on the stuff that they know their fans really aren't going to get into. Like, they had to show some apparel and things like that, but, you know. You know, that's that I like that they did that. So overall I thought the production on this one was better. And getting to see the Ahsoka Tano, bro. Wow. That thing that thing looks great. That thing looks hey, great. Ahsoka. My uncle's on here. Here we go. Huh. Ahsoka Tano. What a wonderful dream. Uh, he uh, he lives down by you guys kinda. He lives in uh, Brooksville. I have no it's, idea where that it's is. A, it's Brooksville. an hour north of Tampa. Oh, okay. so he's west. Yeah, way west. Yeah. He's west of, he's west and north. Mm-hmm. He's like, Craig, uh, yeah, New York Comic Con is supposed to be happening. But yeah, I heard it's supposed to be like is. at 50% capacity. So, yeah, oh, really? I, don't know. I don't know that I'm going to do any of the major cons this year. We um, might do, well, we're going to do Megacon, right? Megacon. I'll do that. But I don't consider Megacon up there with like New York or Sideshow. Or, or, it's, um, it's a pretty sizable con there, buddy. 
it's not yeah but you're not going to see these uh these uh retailers like sideshow or or prime one or xm at, at megacon bro well that's what if, i mean well if you're a statue guy yeah hot toys ain't there either but but there'll be vendors selling hot toys you know what i mean seth so it's like he's got to argue it's not argue. like you could buy it. it's not like, you know what and, and to honestly it's not arguing it's just it's stupid in my opinion because what? if the because i don't like it oh the sideshow is going to have a booth okay if sideshow is going to be there with a booth or any of these other vendors are going to be there with a booth they should have product there for people to purchase they do. They just don't have any of that, those statues and stuff to purchase. I like seeing that kind of stuff. is because to me that's seeing something new. And then I can go looking for the deals. But for the better part, when you go to a convention, they're not giving you any real deals when you go buy at a convention. Most of the time, you can get it cheaper on, at, on eBay. Yeah, but so, then you get people like me who are impatient and they want it now. Okay, but I'm just saying. I, I don't see the deals when, when, you go to, when you go to a convention. What I like going to a convention for is hanging out with my friends and meeting other people there. That's the part that I like about the convention. But... The food is not that great. The drinks no, are definitely not, not that great. <laughs> the food the, is definitely not that great. The prices are not that great, you know. And so, yeah, that's 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 my thought. So if I'm gonna go to a con, I want to see some new stuff and play some video games. That's the other thing about the big cons that I like. They have uh, the gaming booths and um, you know and and like parties and stuff going on. That kind of stuff. So that's that's the stuff I like to see. And your Comic Con is probably one of the better ones in my opinion. George likes the so. party. Yeah, that's what I enjoy about about the cons. Um, so I don't know, but I don't think I'm going to be going to to either one of the cons this year. I'm going to go uh, spend my wad going to Washington and hanging out with uh, Joseph and checking out that Star Wars collection. And mm. that's they got a con unpacking, itself, unpacking, right unpacking some boxes. They got they got a, a Star Wars store box, out there. You can call it you can call it box con. So where's he at? DC or in state? Washington State. Oh, my sister yeah. lives up there. Hey, reason to go out. Yep. Cole's Beyond the Toy Channel. What is up, buddy? Thanks for hanging out. He's in the UK, so it's it's late there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. that's what that's what that's like three o'clock in the morning. Yeah. See, Mike, Mike knows what I'm talking about. We got a good deal on that Loki and Doctor Strange. Yeah, I mean you do I guess you do find some deals some at some places. Which con did you get a good deal at though? Otaku Fest. Otaku Fest? Okay. Yeah. I still don't have my damn tacos, but you know, it's a, it's a, Oh, is that that, that's that one. Yeah. 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 I remember the video. I remember the video. Mike, yeah. Mike, Mike got Dr. Strange. Mike got Dr. Strange. I think for, I think it was like two seventy five, and Dr. Strange resells for like 400. Nice. And then, um, I got that Loki go, the Loki that I got goes for over, uh, three and change. And the guy gave it to me for two twenty five. Not bad. So yeah. And I got family in New York too. So do I. Yeah, but I'm from. Yeah. It's like a yeah, homecoming for me. I've never found any real deals at, at the con. So yeah. the only thing I've ever found is like on comics, and that's like at the end of it when they're packing up and they just don't want to haul that stuff back. But that's yeah. when you find the best. That's deals, usually yeah. That's usually Sunday, when you find it. Sunday but at like all the five good stuff is gone. Yeah, yeah you got to be there to the end. Yeah, Sunday at five o'clock in the afternoon, people are getting tired, and uh, you know they don't like you said they don't want to take any stuff home with them. That's when you're like. All right, let's time to make some deals. Yep. Uh, yeah, Craig, I've, I've been to San Diego Comic Con three times, and I still have a pass to go next year. Hmm. Is that the one where you guys uh, walked around the convention center like forever? Uh, was that San Diego? Right? Remember, uh, you guys were like going from point A to point B, and you were like, "Damn, this is far." <laughs> Oh no, that was when we were. Oh no, that was when we went to Mega. When we met to uh, went to MegaCon. Megacon. When we walked to, when we walked across. Yeah, George is like. I was like, George, we could just cross the street. He's like, No, nah, let's yeah, take the sky that's bridge. It. Yeah, that's the <laughs> sky bridge. Let's take yeah, the that sky bridge. That was my fault. <laughs> yeah. That was my fault. That, that was my fault. <laughs> Guys, it's know. day twenty three. We're still out here trying to get. To <laughs> We've got no food and water. Like, I would go back to the big cons if I'm going with somebody that's never been. You know, that would be an experience. Or just, you know, if we all were going to go together, then I'd be down to do that. But going to, to San Diego or New York, it's difficult to get tickets in to get, to get to that one. And so, I don't know. See, see, like, for me, like, a con is good for, for one day. That's how I feel. That, that's, how, that's how I feel about it. Like, I like, if I'm in an out-of-state area... Like I prefer to go to the con one day, and then I pr pr prefer to venture out 
to stores around the area. Yeah, see, and that's where you'll find deals. I think you'll find better yeah. deals that way than you will in the cons. While the cons a, going on? Yeah, because the cons, you know, they're covering their costs. They got to pay for the booth. They got to do all that stuff. So, like, he when he went to to uh, to Atlanta, the stores that he went walking or, or, or adventuring out to, he found more deal. You found more deals out there. Oh my right? God, we found we found all kinds see? of crazy stuff when we went to when we went to uh, Atlanta. We went to that toy show. We went there for the fir- the first day, but it was only for like a preview night thing, and mm-hmm. that's where I bought the bought the Empire Vader, yeah. um, you know. But then we went to these other stores around the area, and I found Black Panther, and I found um, Hawkeye, you know. So it's like you know there was uh, there were some good good deals at a lot of those stores. Yeah, see that, that's the kind of stuff I like to go see. <laughs> like when I was in uh, Texas in the woodlands, I found this like hole in the wall spot that had all kinds of cool stuff in there. And I found, um, at the time, the uh, Sideshow uh, Jean Grey premium format figure. And I got a good deal on that, you know, venturing out to the to the different comic book stores in the area. So, but, I don't know. And then the other thing, too, with buying a statue at a con is you got to get that thing home. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, you definitely ain't taking that on a plane. No, that was, uh, that was a fun, that was a fun experience when we went to, uh, New York, mm-hmm. yeah, and like I think it was the day. I think the morning, the morning you left, and we stayed at the hotel another night. I think mm-hmm. we, um, I had to go to a FedEx. I had to go to I had to go to a FedEx store and ship all that stuff back to Florida. Mm-hmm. And in the process of doing that, that's when like my Jay and Silent Bob figure got destroyed. Um, you know, and that oh, and that's where I bought. I had an Iron Man hot toy come back. God, I had a big box of stuff come back, dude. I spent so much money when we were in New York. At San Diego, <laughs> I uh, I decided to, to help out some friends and and stood in line for several different booths to help them get some stuff one one year. And then I spent an equal amount of time in line for the booths, in line at FedEx, shipping these things out. Oh you know, no! Whole day of of uh, lines from one end to the other. I just was like, and that's always fun. Yeah, I don't know if I would do that again. So, but it yeah, that's to be something you really want. And that's the only way you got, you know. Yeah, you know. Something that's hard to find, and it's like all all of a sudden you got a real good deal on it. Yeah, that's the other thing. I that's the other thing I love about going out of state is like you find stuff that you can't find here. Yeah, that's true. You, you, you know, and that that's why I, that's why I like you know I just again like I don't care where I go if I go anywhere out of the state of Florida I know I'm gonna find something. Right. You think Florida would have a lot of stuff? We've got a lot of places. Yeah, well, I mean, we got a lot of we got a lot of decent decent places, but you know, I think you know it, it's like you always find that one thing you don't expect to find when you go out of state. You know? Yeah, yeah, I hear that. That's cool. You know that that finding finding that you know maybe something you've been searching for that you might have forgot about because you know you know it's just something that you'll never find, and then boom, it, you know. You're st- standing right in front of you, and at that point, it's do or die, you know. So Mojo says he's going to MegaCon. I- I'm definitely going to MegaCon. That's at least that. But it's it, it's it's here. Listen, I have to get to Orlando like stat because they opened up White Castle. So, um, <laughs> you know, Joe Joe actually sent me a text message the other day. He's like, "Hey, bro." He's like, "Check this out," and he sent me a video of um, the line of people that were lined up to get to the White Castle. I mean, wow. dude, this thing was like a hundred plus cars deep at like eight o'clock in the morning. And then, then I texted Joe back. I said, the funny thing is, I said, all those people are going to be waiting there until tonight when that shit hits their stomach and they're in the bathroom because they're belly bombs. Yeah, I'm <laughs> good. If we go to, to White Castle, bro, we're driving in two different cars. Just the same. <laughs> Just telling you right now. <laughs> Stopping in Walmart, getting a porta potty, one of those little kid porta potties. Yeah, right. <laughs> I guess my guess myself out of the car. <laughs> Cole says both hot toys look so cool. It sucks in UK. We have to wait so long as for statues. Shipping is bad. Great, uh, great chat. Star Wars is where it's at. Yeah, that's right. Star Wars is where it's at. Yes, it the is. The hangover food. <laughs> and it was definitely there today. Hangover Seth food and after concert food. <laughs> yeah. Seth murders burgers on me and me and out of you. <laughs> I do murder burgers. 
I'm George. George yeah, still remembers the one time we went. Yeah, to that, we yeah. went to that burger. Oh, we man. went to that burger joint, and George was like, "Bro, what are you doing?" This dude got a burger, man. All right, so this dude got a burger. The hangover. Was it called the hangover? It was. It was a hangover. It was, okay, so I'll tell what the burger is, and then you can tell right. the story. So it was called the hangover burger. It was basically like this one place is called the Charm City Burgers. It's like a double. It was like a double cheeseburger, where it was the bun, cheese, bacon, egg, hash brown. And then another hash brown, and then cheese, bacon, burger, and then the other part of the bun, and then the and then the egg, and it was like it came out, it was like piled up like like really high. So like go ahead, so go ahead, like, George, like that. So this is the first time he takes me to this place. It's, got, it's called Charm City, right? That, that's the name of the place. Yeah, Charm City. Charm burgers. City, epic spot. You come down to Florida, go to Charm City. The, the, those burgers are good. Anyway, so I go there, I order a normal burger, you know, something that I'm going to be able to eat. Then he comes over with this stack. <laughs> and it's not that big a place, but he sits down next to me. I'm like, how the fuck are you going to eat that? You know, I said, just like that, the whole place started laughing, right? <laughs> you know, and Seth, Seth takes, he's like this, and he smashes the burger down like that, and he takes a bite out of this. And I just was like, I'm good. I'm not, I can't eat anymore. <laughs> I don't even want to eat. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. He's like, he's like, how are you going to eat this? I'm like, watch. And I just like, I compressed it down. I picked it up and I started eating it. And like the the shit was just coming out, it was just coming out of it because it was such a messy burger. Because I like on on a burger that has an egg on it, I like it over easy so the yolk is is runny, you yeah. know. So it's it, it, yeah, it's 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 good. Dude, that don't even sound appeal. <laughs> what you don't like it? You don't like a uh, over? I don't like eggs. For, I don't eat. You don't eggs like all. eggs? No, eggs are nasty. What? I do not eat eggs. I don't eat fish. I don't eat eggs. Wow. You're nope. missing out on life, buddy. No, even steak, even steak even, tastes good. Even I eat fish. Even I eat fish. <laughs> Listen, and I'm George. George knows I'm the picky. I'm the pit. I'm probably one of the pickiest eaters. Oh I no, fish. I will put you to shame, sir. <laughs> Frankie's like you just. Frankie's like Fra Frankie's like baby Yoda. You just give me some chicken nuggies and some choco milk, and I'm good. <laughs> I know. My wife. We're trying to decide what to go eat. She's like, "What do you want?" I'm like. Well, anything's fine as long as it's not eggs, fish, and start rattling off the stuff. Oh my She's god! Like, okay, so Sonic. <laughs> I'm very open-minded when it comes to food. I eat a lot of different things. At least try it once, you know. But I mean, you got to be when you go to Japan. You got because you can't even read what you. At least I can't even read what what was what I'm eating. So George George has actually have gotten has gotten me to expand my palate since we've started working together. That's true. So that's true. I shame him into it. Well, he's probably just tired of you trying to abuse your palate by the no, sounds no, of that burger. No, no, not really. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? We went to we went to Rocco. We went to Rocco's Tacos. That's when I first experienced guacamole, which was really good. Um, you hey, you never had guacamole? No. And then oh, I had the weird. the the best the best taco ever. There is the Brooklyn. Yes, it's true. It's a uh, ch ch chorizo fried pork belly. Onion, cilantro, and like a uh, a pico de gallo. Yeah, that is a pretty good bird. Pretty so good, good. Bad taco. They got great tacos there. Yeah, best taco spot. He's down here anyway. You guys are getting me hungry, man. Chorizo. <laughs> I know I haven't eaten dinner yet. Yeah, I'm not, I'm starting to get hungry again. I think like, I already ate, but it wasn't. But wasn't I know as soon as I <laughs> eat, I'm done. Yeah, it's been a night. It's been a long day. So, with that, we've been going on for about an hour and twenty minutes. I think. It's about time. Thor. <laughs> what did Thor say? Oh, I'm with you with Frankie. No fish for me except one. <laughs> you need to wash that. <laughs> you got to fillet that bitch. <laughs> Anyways, guys. It's like a largemouth hey. bass. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for joining you us. Grab it like that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hook it, hook it like a bass. Fish. I know what you were talking about. <laughs> I know what you were talking about. <laughs> Guys, man. I get, anyway. I, I get that reference. <laughs> it's been one hell of May the 4th. I'm looking forward to Revenge of the Fifth tomorrow. Um, especially that Vader and whatever else is hiding inside of that dark side of Sideshow's booth. <laughs> Actually, what it was. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm getting a little tired. It's time for me to, to go to sleep before I said these guys get me any more hungry. Seth, thanks for coming to hang out with us, bro. Of course. Thank you yes, for sir. having me on the hyperdrive. Of course, man. <laughs> Gotta have you on the hyperdrive. Uh, John is just asking if there's going to be a Lego lounge. Or we were just kidding. No, there is going to be a Lego. No, there lounge. is a Lego lounge. Yes, that no, is. No, me and me and me and George are working out a schedule for that. Yes. 
Yes, yes, yes. This week's a little rough is because of all the stuff that's happening with May the 4th. Tomorrow we're going to have the collecting news. So uh, expect that. Uh, and we'll be. It's going to probably be a Star Wars filled one because there's a it's lot to talk about. There's a lot. A Star, a Star Wars spectacular special yeah. of the yeah, collecting news. It's going to be that. Uh, there's going to be a room tour on this channel, probably dropping either tomorrow or Thursday. Probably Thursday though, when it drops, when it drops here, and then Friday we have that geek show where uh, I'm going to have Michael Hawes on the show, and this guy's got a Star Wars room that looks like it came right out of the Death Star. I mean, it's insane. You know, and, you guys going to like this one. And I will also be making an, a major announcement Friday during the geek show about. A very special interview that I will be doing next week. Nice. So, we got a lot going on, guys. So, happy May the 4th. I'll see you guys tomorrow. And until next time, may the force be with you. Peace. <laughs>